This is straight from Radio Bandido. Moving now to the next question, Mr. Secretary. What do you think are the legislative ways to curb the country's food shortage and eliminate excessive importation of, for example, meat and other food products? The important things are the budgetary support for all of these. And that is contained in the National Expenditure Plan, which will be submitted by the next president. Second, I really want to review whether farming is optimal based on the hectare limit set, mm -hmm. which continues to be imposed, uh, which, is con uh, which the DAR continues to impose, despite the fact that the CARP has already expired. They claim yeah. that the acquisition function has expired, but the retention limits of three hectares still remain. So uh, I, I really want to review whether three hectares is indeed optimal or it is a socialistic method of, of control. There are some successful cooperatives on three hectares, particularly in bananas. For example, the three hectares of bananas, uh, you are viable. But for rice, yeah. Uh, yeah. no. Let's also review the policy of the land bank because they're, re they're really to support agriculture in the same way as the original charter of the Development Bank of the Philippines was not for profitability in banking terms, but support to the economy for long-term germination industries. But now these banks, both Land Bank and DBP, uh, their mandates and charters have been changed so much so that they compete with the commercial banks. That's right. That's right. So their original mandate is gone. And I don't see the reason why they should continue to exist if their mandates uh, are already functus officio, to say, uh, to use a legal term. So let's review that. That was straight from Rajo Bandido. Stay tuned for more.